That uproar is going to take out Electivire, and it's 2-0, to zero, which means that Arcanine is going through to the quarterfinals. Hello everybody, welcome to Metro Mania, and can you believe it? The heats are almost over. We have one more heat left. This week is Heat 8. If you missed Heat 7, go and check it out as Arcanine had such a dominant performance against Electivire. I did not see that one coming, but Arcanine goes through to the quarterfinals, and we're going to find out the final quarterfinalist today as Umbreon takes on Kingdra. And yes, Gary did have a Kingdra. So here we go, it's Umbreon versus Kingdra for the final place in the Metromania Season 12 quarterfinals. On the Umbreon side, we have the primary, uh, the primary, the regular Umbreon with its primary ability of Synchronize. We have the shiny Umbreon with the hidden ability, which is inner focus, so no flinching. We're going to see, uh, oh, Shiny King is going to start things off with a Dragon Dance. Here we go, things are heating up already. Uh, regular Kingler is on the field with the Swift Swim ability, and Shiny Kingdra has the Damp ability, which is the hidden ability of the Kingdra line. We see regular Kingdra going for a Night Slash. That's not going to be very effective on the Dark-type Umbreon. Did it get a crit? It did not, so not very effective. A little bit of chip damage to start things off, and here comes the Shiny Umbreon with Eerie Impulse. Gonna drop the Special Defense, I believe, or is it Special Attack? Let's find out together as a team. Special Attack down two stages on the regular Kingdra there. Now, regular Umbreon gonna start things off for this battle with Steel Wing, and it's gonna miss, which is fine, you know? Just take a moment to hit the subscribe button instead. Turn on all notifications so you don't miss anything on the channel. That's better than using Steel Wing on a Kingdra. Speaking of Kingdra, here is Shiny Kingdra, who's gonna go for Head Smash, or oh, with the plus one attack as well. Holy moly, this should do a lot of damage to the bulky Umbreon. Even, even Umbreon with all that bulk from that critical hit, plus one head smash. My word, so much damage taken there. And of course, recoil damage is applied to the shiny uh, Kingdra there. We see foul play from regular Kingdra. Another dark type move. It puts Umbreon, uh, ra or, so I should say shiny Umbreon, into the danger zone. But still doesn't take it down. We see a horn drill from the regular Umbreon. That's a one-hit KO move. So down goes Shiny Kingler. Kingler? Kingdra. Just like that. Shiny Kingdra is down. Kingler is a different Pokemon who I wish would have been in this competition. But random number generators can be a bitch sometimes. Here we see a Night Slashing. Oh, this time it's from Umbreon. My apologies. Onto the regular Kingdra there. Doesn't do a great deal of damage though because Umbreon not really known for its prow attacking prowess. It has so much bulk which protects it against the Kingdra team but it just doesn't have the firepower. We see Searing Shot from the uh, regular Kingdra there, the only Kingdra on the field, which isn't quite enough to take down Shiny Umbreon because of course that massive minus two def uh, special attack drop it had before. Umbreon's going to go for Fusion Bolt, which will be neutral damage on the uh, Water and Dragon-type Kingdra. Let's see how much it does. Just barely any damage. Umbreon just does not have so much firepower. Though That one-hit KO move really came in handy. Here's a Bug Bite, though, from Shiny Umbreon, so it's going to eat the Leper Berry of the Kingdra there. Putting Kingdra down to less than half its max HP in the process. Kingdra in a difficult position right now. It's against two Umbreon. I don't know how it's going to get out of this mess. Uh, here we see it going for the Metronome, though. What will it do here? Is it going to... Oh, it's going to go for Misty Explosion, which is super effective on both the Umbreon. But how much damage is that going to do? I mean, Shiny Umbreon's definitely going to go down. It barely touches the other Umbreon, though, so it's thrown the match. I guess let's take a moment to hear from our sponsors. Oh, my bloody god, I'm here again to talk about G Fuel. That's G Fuel for those who can't speak twat. <laughs> G Fuel, as most of you already know, is an energy formula with barely any calories, zero sugar, and a whole heap of absolutely amazing, wonderful flavors. Like the brilliant Summit 1G I'm drinking right now. It tastes like a bloody raspberry creamsicle, mate. That's amazing. You get a lovely full flavor of refreshing raspberry at the start, and then a beautiful, luxurious hint of vanilla at the end. It's so absolutely bloody lovely, and it keeps me awake and helps me focus. Oh, that is absolutely fan dabby dozy. Go get yourself some G Fuel today, and when you do, please put the code ACE in the checkout box, the little discount code box at the end, because that saves you 10% on your order and also helps support this wonderful channel. Thank you in advance. Remember though, G Fuel is for over 18s only because it contains caffeine, and children don't need caffeine. They're annoying enough as it is. You've met them, probably. And because it contains caffeine, just drink it responsibly. Don't be a dickhead, dickhead.
So here we are back with round two after Kingdra threw the first round, gave the victory to Umbreon with that misty explosion. Definitely some harsh words in the, the locker room of the Kingdra team, I reckon. After that debacle, they were very much in the driver's seat apart from having one Pokemon down, but then just threw it away with the misty explosion. Here we see a hold back from the shiny Kingdra to start things off, just teasing a little bit of damage there, just a cheeky tease. And now we see regular Kingdra with a bit of egg on its face here, Going for Reflect type, changing itself from Water and Dragon to Dark type. I don't quite know if that's the wisest idea, but hey-ho, maybe they've got a plan. Here's regular Umbreon starting things off with Spore, so it's going to put one of the Kingdras to sleep, and it's the shiny Kingdra who's going to be fast asleep for the foreseeable future. That is not good for the Kingdra team, who desperately need to win this round. If they want to go through to the quarterfinals, they have to win this round to equalize to allow themselves to even have the opportunity. Lucky for them, Shiny Umbreon fails with the heal bell there because there's no statuses to be restored. And here's Shiny Kingdra fast asleep. So it's all up to regular Kingdra here. No misty explosions to help you this time, friend. Here we see Power Trip from the uh, regular Kingdra there. Just dealing barely any damage because it's not had any stat increases to power up the power trip. So over to the Umbreon side. Shiny Umbreon's going to go for Scold, which is going to be uh, four times resisted. By Shiny Kingdra there, barely any damage, and of course can't be burned because it's fast asleep, so that's a shame right there. Over to the regular Umbreon though, who's going to go for Hail, so everyone's going to take a little bit of chip damage each turn. This is a great play, because the Umbreon team is the bulkier of the two teams, that's for certain. More HP, more defense, more special defense, um, but they don't have the firepower, so having the Hail chip away at the Kingdra for five turns, that's a really good shout, so that's a smart play by the Umbreon. If they're really lucky, they could set up an Aurora Beam in the meantime to you know, to lower the amount of damage that they take from the Kingdra team, allow themselves to utilize the bulk even more, and really just stall out these Kingdra, especially with one of them sleeping, as we see right there, still fast asleep, Shiny Kingdra. Over to regular Kingdra, really putting the work in now, and going for work up at the same time. Going to increase its attack and its special attack, I believe, because bulk up is attack and defense, work up is attack and special attack. I always try my best to remember that one. Here's Umbreon, though, going for Shell Smash. Going to lower its defense and special defense in favor of inc increasing its attack, its speed, and its special attack by two stages apiece, which does make that du uh, that Umbreon, that Dumbreon. That's a dumb Umbreon right there, Dumbreon. This is a smart Umbreon, making itself very, very dangerous. The Umbreon team can afford to sacrifice a bit of bulk. Here's a Venom Drench, which is going to fail because uh, the, the opponent isn't poisoned. And there's the Hail, buffeting everybody on the field here. Notice the first one to take damage was regular Umbreon. I believe that Shell Smash may have made it faster than Kingdra. So that's not good for the Kingdra team if uh, regular Umbreon gets to move first. Here we are. Fastest thing on the field is regular Umbreon now. Remember, plus two attack and special attack. Going for Force Palm onto the shiny Kingdra there. And I believe, doesn't Force Palm wake it up? No, that's Smelling Salts. Force Palm just does damage, doesn't it? Here's Struggle Bug, though, from Kingdra. That'll be super effective on both the Umbreon there. Big damage to the regular Umbreon, who sacrificed its uh, sacrificed its bulk there. And down goes the special attack, uh, down one stage apiece. So shiny Umbreon is a minus one special attack. Regular Umbreon is still at plus one, though. And of course, shiny King just still fast asleep there. Here comes shiny Umbreon with a blast burn. That's going to have a recharge turn, though, and that is going to be four times resisted. Barely any damage to Shiny Kingler there. That was Kingler? Kingdra. Have I called it Shiny Kingler? Hang on. No, I've called it Shiny Kingdra. My eyes are playing tricks on me. I should really put my contact lenses in for this, eh? And there's the hail buffeting everybody, though. So Shiny Umbreon's going to have to recharge next turn. It's all up to regular Umbreon at this point. What's it going to do? If they can command a victory here, they go 2-0, which means that Kingdra won't get through to the quarterfinals. Here's Sacred Fire, avoided by Shiny Kingdra, who wakes up, gets ready with the metronome. What's on its mind here? It's been dreaming about using Clanging Scale, so here it comes. How much damage would that do? Big damage to the, the regular Umbreon with the, uh, with the special defense drop. Down goes the defense of Shiny Kingdra. And of course, regular Umbreon is in the danger zone now. Here's Fairy Wind, which is also super effective. On that Umbreon with the lowered special defense. How much damage does it do? It takes down regular Umbreon. This is dangerous for the Umbreon team. Shiny Umbreon has to recharge and everyone takes hail damage. But Shiny Umbreon is in a very difficult position here. Really needs to work hard. If it can take down both these Kingdra, if it can take them out of contention, it takes them out of the competition and we go to a pride round. 
So now we have regular Kingdra getting ready with that metronome. It's going to go for Petal Blizzard, which will be neutral damage to its partner, but will also damage the opponent. And it's enough to take both of them down. Shiny Kingdra goes down, but more importantly, down goes Umbreon, which means the Kingdra team have equalized. We're going to a third round. This is very, very interesting now because one of these teams of Pokemon are going to be facing Arcanine in the quarterfinals. But which one it's going to be, none of us know. We're going to find out right now together. This has been an amazing back and forth, though. The Kingdra team really know their stuff after they threw that first round. But the Umbreon team are quite wily and they can use their bolt quite effectively. We see Shiny King just starting things off with Electro Web. Sh uh, oh, critical hit on the Shiny Umbreon though. He's taken a lot of uh, critical hits this battle. But going to lower their speed by one stage apiece, making them already the slowest thing on the field, but now even slower. And now we have regular Kingdra who's going to start things off with Avalanche. Lucky for Kingdra. Uh, sorry, lucky for Umbreon, I should say. They are the slowest thing on the field, which means that Avalanche didn't get a chance to be double powered. Here's the regular Umbreon though that's going to start things off with a bit of chip damage with Fury Swipes. Let's see how much damage it does though. We get one, or just the two hits on the Fury Swipes. That's a bit unfortunate for the Umbreon team, but who knows? Maybe they can turn around another victory. Here we see Super Sonic from the Shiny Umbreon. That's going to confuse the regular Kingdra there. Going to apply that confusion, meaning regular Kingdra has a chance to possibly attack itself as we move into round two. Still no sign of who's going to be on top in this battle. Very, very equal. Even though, you know, one's more advantageous in the offensive side, one's more advantageous in the defensive side, it, it's still very difficult to tell. Regular Kingdra hits itself in confusion, though. The confusion already paying off for the Umbreon team. Now it's over to Shiny Umbreon, though. And what's it going to do? It's going to go for Reflect and increase uh, its team's physical protection. Really, with Kingdra, I guess Kingdra has, yeah, well, actually, Kingdra has the same base attack, defense, special attack, and special defense. So, Reflect or Light Screen, either of them work fine. Umbreon goes for Brick Break, dealing a bit more chip damage to that regular Kingdra there. I feel like if the Umbreon team focus their firepower on one of the Kingdra, they're going to make their lives a lot, lot easier. Over to Shiny Kingdra now, who's going to go for Spit Up, but it hasn't stockpiled anything, so nothing happens. Here's the regular Kingdra, still confused, but it's going to ignore that confusion and go for the Metronome. What's regular Kingdra going to do? It's going to go for Rap, which is going to slowly but surely chip away at the bulk of that Shiny Umbreon. So Shiny Umbreon in a difficult position with that Rap in play. Now over to Shiny Umbreon to see how it's going to respond, and it's going to go for Power Gem. A special attack. Let's see how much damage it does to Kingdra. Again, just chipping away slowly but surely. Regular Umbreon is preparing its metronome. It's going to go for Bubble Beam, which is four times resisted. So that's basically a waste of a turn. And it's on the shiny Kingdra there. So just barely any HP. I'd say less than 10 hit points of damage there, even with a critical hit. And there's the wrap damage slowly whittling away at shiny Umbreon. As we move into the next turn... It's definitely looking at, like, Advantage Kingdra right now. The Kingdra team seem to be actually dealing more damage overall. Here's Shiny Kingdra, though, who's going to go for Terrain Pulse onto which of the Umbreon here? It's going to land on the regular Umbreon there for a little bit of damage. Not a great deal. Regular Kingdra going to snap out of Confusion. No longer got to worry about hurt itself. And it's going to go for Grass Knot. Although the Umbreon team are not very heavy, so it shouldn't do a great deal of damage there. Yeah, not a, not a massive amount of damage, but any damage is better than no damage. And now regular Umbreon looks to retaliate with Gastro Acid. Going to suppress the ability of Shiny Kingdra there. Suppressing the Damp ability, which is very interesting. So any of the other Pokemon are allowed to explode or self-destruct, I suppose. Here's Flail from Shiny Umbreon onto the Shiny Kingdra. And then the Wrap comes into play once again. Bringing Shiny Umbreon down into the yellow, less than half its max HP. These Umbreon need to start dealing more damage more quickly as time goes on. Here's the regular Kingdra though, gearing up with the Metronome. Gonna go for Power Trick and swap its attack and its defense. Which at base 95 apiece and no stat changes is the same. So that was a wasted turn. So over to Shiny Kingdra, I suppose. What will it do now? It's gonna go for Lick, maybe hoping to paralyze one of these Umbreon. On the Shiny Umbreon there, not very effective damage because it's ghost type damage, but no paralysis is the important part of that turn. And now we see Shiny Umbreon reply with sheer cold, avoided by Kingdra. Uh, the Shiny Kingdra should say that would have been a one-hit KO. Umbreon smart to try and use that though. Here's a pound from the regular Umbreon onto the regular Kingdra, bringing that down to less than half its max HP. And there is even more wrap damage to Shiny Umbreon. Will that wrap ever end? I guess we'll find out very, very soon. Now, let's see what the Kingdra team have ready and raring to go here. Shiny Kingdra 
getting its metronome prepared and is going to go for ally switch. Interesting play right there. So it's going to swap places with its, oppo uh, with its opponent, with its ally Pokemon. That's why it's called ally switch, num nuts. And let's see what its ally does. It goes for Ember, maybe hoping to burn one of the Umbreon here. I wonder how this will affect which of the uh, Pokemon the, the Umbreon we're going to target in this round with the ally switch. We see Overheat from Shiny Umbreon, which is going to land on the regular Kingdra there for barely any damage. Four times resisted, but is going to guttingly drop the special attack by two stages of Shiny Umbreon. So it needs to focus on only physical attacks now. Regular Umbreon going to go for Electric Terrain. So it's going to change the battlefield to the electric terrain, which means that uh, no one's going to be asleep in for a while. No rest uh, from this point onwards for the foreseeable future. There's even more wrap damage on Shiny Umbreon there. Getting dangerously close to the danger zone. The reflector's worn off, so physical damages, physical damages, physical moves will now have their full effect on the Umbreon team. Shiny Kingdra is ready to go with the metronome. And it's going to use Submission, which will be super effective. And, of course, no Reflect Up. So down goes Shiny Umbreon there. It's one Umbreon versus two Kingdra now. This is dangerous for the Umbreon team, especially with a place in the quarterfinals at stake. That was barely any recoil damage, though. Look at that. And now regular... Oh, my God! Explosion with Damp not in effect anymore. It's allowed to use Explosion. How much damage will that do to Umbreon? Oh, my word! Has it taken it down? Kingdra's fainted, of course, because of the the, uh, the 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 explosion. Umbreon's still kicking, though. This is fantastic for Umbreon. One of its opponents is gone, but of course, can the Kingdra capitalize? It's in the danger zone now after that Steel Wing. That Umbreon was really adamant to use Steel Wing. Umbreon living that explosion could have saved it in this competition. What is Shiny Kingdra going to do here? It's going to go for Freeze Dry. How much damage will that do to Umbreon? Is that enough to get Kingdra through to the quarterfinals? It puts Umbreon in the danger zone. Umbreon is still living. I thought it was already in the danger zone. Here we go, though. It's going to go for Forest Curse, which will add the Grass type to Kingdra. So let me know in the comments. A Water, Dragon, and Grass type Pokemon. What are its weaknesses, resistances, and immunities? If it, it, It's not going to have any immunities, is it? But here we see Shiny Kingdra. Getting ready once again. It's going to go for Teeter Dance. Going to confuse the Umbreon. Wanting to damage itself in confusion. But what's Umbreon going to do in its turn? Is it going to work its way past the confusion? Here we see it confused. And what's it going to do? It's going to hit itself in confusion. And it's going to knock itself out. So Kingdra is through to the quarterfinals. What a brilliant final round. That was full of twists and turns. What a roller coaster. That is what Metromania is all about. Kingdra's through to face Arcanine in the quarterfinals. So now they're set. So tune in next week when we have quarterfinal one where Lucario is going to take on Charizard. That's going to be amazing. And that'll do it for another episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Share this video with a friend. Head to twitch.tv forward slash AceTrainalian for all of my live streams. And of course, use code ACE to save money on G Fuel. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.